Hi, my name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant and today we're going to learn how to grind coffee beans without a grinder. Now you may not be someone who usually gets whole bean coffee and maybe one day someone walks up to you and gives you a gift of whole bean coffee and you're not sure exactly how to grind it up to brew it. Well, the best option obviously is to purchase a grinder to get a very precise grind on your coffee. But if you don't have the money or the time or you just really want that cup of coffee and you're stuck with whole beans, there are a few conventional ways to grind up your coffee beans. The first way is with a rolling pin and the second way is with a blender. Now if you do choose to use your blender, make sure you read the user manual to ensure that you're not going to burn out your motor or you're going to use it incorrectly. So if you're going to use a rolling pin, which is kind of an archaic way of grinding anything or breaking anything up, just take some of your coffee beans, you're going to put them on your countertop or a cutting board. And it, is, it gets, could get a little messy because the uh, coffee beans are going to try to get away from you as you apply pressure. Just put your rolling pin in the center of the coffee beans and you're going to crush them. And in essence, that's what a um, grinder does when you're grinding up whole bean coffee beans. You're going to have to work at it for a while and it does get pretty messy. So you may want to opt for the other option, which is the blender. The other thing is, is that you want to decide what type of coffee you're going to be brewing. If you're making espresso or if you're making drip coffee or if you're making one in a French press, we'll determine how fine or how coarse your coffee beans need to be once you've crushed them or ground them up. Uh, if you're making a French press, then you want them to be pretty coarse, which this method could be pretty effective for that. If you're looking for an espresso or even your drip coffee, you may want to won't get it very fine. Secondly, if you're going to use your blender, again, make sure you read your user manual to make sure you're not going to burn out your motor. You're going to take your coffee beans, you're going to place them in your grinder, and then you're going to want to use the highest setting on your grinder to make sure that they blend up uh, very fine and well. So then go ahead and turn it on the highest setting you have. Okay, so you're going to want to check your, your uh, coffee beans in there quite a few times to make sure you're getting the grind that you want. Again, if you want it very fine, you're going to have to blend it for a long period of time. If you just want it to be coarse to make a French press or a medium grind, then you know, you're going to have to just keep your eye on that because you're kind of hit and miss with the type of blender you're using, the blades that are on it, and all those factors that go into that. Uh, after you have your coffee all ground up, you're going to prepare it as usual. Um, and again, my name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant. And today, we learned how to grind up coffee beans without a grinder.